Hi there. In this tutorial, we are going to see the various font sizes that LaTeX supports. So with our approach, we directly come to the example. Okay, so LaTeX by default is I think 10 pointer and 10 point font. So we can reduce or increase the size of the font depending on the commands that we use. Okay, so here if you see, we have a begin document. Just a minute, sorry. Okay, so I am using the command slash tiny. So slash tiny specifies the smallest font size that LaTeX supports. So in this we see V is the smallest if you just observe it. Then we have script size. See the normal size is the normal font that LaTeX uses. So if you specify nothing, no command at all. So when you specify the command normal size and all the text besides that will be of normal size. That is the default size that LaTeX uses. So anything above normal, this will be the smaller than normal and anything beyond normal will be larger than normal size. Okay, so if you see this, I, I have sorted this in the order of increasing. So tiny being the smallest font, so V appears as a tiny font. So you can see it's very, very small. Then we have a script size, which is slightly larger than tiny if you observe. This can be any text or any paragraphs of text that you want to write. Then we have footnote size. So we have the footnote size, which is slightly bigger than this, but smaller than the next one. Small is larger than above and less than the next one. So in this way, we have normal size, large, large, see, LaTeX is again case sensitive. So backslash small large and backslash capital large mean different thing, mean different things and all capital large is different. So you see big, let me make it bigger and biggest and let us recompile it. So if you see the font of big, bigger and biggest, so biggest is the highest font, the less font is here and even smaller is here. So the command is same large, but the case sensitiveness, this large is all small case characters. This large has capital L. This large has all capitals. Then we have huge and another huge followed with the H capital. So that is the highest size that LaTeX supports. There are many libraries in LaTeX that allows you to even bigger and larger fonts, but I'm covering this as these are the basic font sizes that are supported by the inbuilt classes of LaTeX. So in this way, you can modify the classes. So let's say after large, you make it larger. So LaTeX will actually see the previous command. So it will not make bigger as with the size of large. It will make bigger with the size of this large, the previously uncounted command. Okay, so in this way, you can explore the various LaTeX sizes. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Please do subscribe.